after moving from McGregor, Iowa, all the way out here to the middle of nowhere with all my friends, we have the challenge of starting a multi-million dollar farm and with nothing but our friends' help, find out what happens today's episode. P.S. Thank you for posting. Well, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? We are going to rock and roll in today. We have a lot of stuff to get done. Our cattle are looking scrumptious. We have tons of milk to get rid of today. And my favorite part of the day, I get to go see William. And I think driver said that he has to go deal with turning in his car or getting a new engine, something like that. I don't know. He broke it. That's about as far as I know. And let's stop my favorite person right here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, it's uh, it's another great day. So can't complain. Oh yeah. I agree. It is a great day. You know what we get to do today? What do we get to do? We get to go buy some milk, go rent some milk tankers to sell milk. Sounds good to me. Yeah, because we have 120,000 liters of milk from over the winter. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is a ton of it. So let's go ahead and find both our semi trucks, get them things loaded up, and uh, let's go find us some tankers. All righty. Here is our local dealership. Man, oh, man, they have a uh, full lot. We'll look at this later. But why not now? Well, because we got stuff we got to take care of first. Uh, fine. We have our tankers over here we got to hook up to for before we can do anything else. All right, bring it on in oh. a little bit more. You totally missed that one there, bud. Yeah, I did. Right there. Perfect. Hold on, hold on. Before we leave, before we leave, can we at least look yeah. at this? This looks pretty interesting to me. Okay, let's look at it. Looks like it's like little spray nozzles or something like that to get down there into the corn plant. Yeah, basically it's kind of like, almost like side dressing, but uh, we can do it down like fertigation, like in the row. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. We need this all. We need this right here next to it, though, no matter what. Ooh, look at that. You know what this would be great for? All in everything. Lime. I mean, it's a triaxle too. This is a big old. Wow. Oh, we haven't even thought about lime, dude. We gotta put lime down on our farm. That is true. Okay, so we definitely need to come back for that pretty soon because we got a lot of lime in today. All right, let's hit the road. Alrighty, first two loads of milk heading out. Alrighty, we got about seventy thousand dollars per tanker. That's not honestly that bad. No, for cattle, that's the most them cows have made us yet. I can't complain. All right, there you go, William. Go ahead and back up, and uh, you'll be the last tanker. Alrighty. Hey, William. Yeah. You know what the sad part is? What's the sad part? We've made more money off of sitting here and selling milk than we did off of all of our crops together. I could have gone without uh, knowing that, actually. I think we're in the wrong business. Yeah. Starting to, starting to think that for a second. All right, let's get back to the farm. All righty. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm back from getting all the stuff for the house. Where are you guys at? Uh, We just got done dropping off the trailers because we just sold a bunch of milk. So we're almost at the farm. All right, I'll just meet you there at the yard. Well, I mean, we got the first task done in a day, and it's late for driver to get over here, because, I mean, I got to tell you, both y'all together, so that if one of y'all has a heart attack, the other one can call the, co call the hospital. Oh, okay. I don't Hi. like these conversations. Well, it's a great conversation for me. You ready? Okay. We're selling all the equipment. What? We're selling all the equipment. We're getting new. We're going a little bit bigger than what we did this year. So we're selling 99% of the equipment. Nine, like 99% of the equipment on this farm. Like, bye-bye. Bye-bye, yeah. Should we clean all the Mountain Dew cans and stuff out of them first, or? I would recommend it because we have buyers coming for it this afternoon. Oh. So I'd recommend getting everything clean, the, especially the semis. So I'll just go ahead and tell you what we're keeping, what we're not keeping. Because there's some stuff we're keeping, some stuff we're not. We're keeping the trailers. Okay. There's no reason to get rid of those trailers. They're good trailers, in my opinion. So we're just going to keep them for right now. Semis, they're gone. Yeah, yep. yeah. Driver, driver wants new semis. <laughs> yeah, well, th those are guaranteed new. We're getting new ish. Of course, keeping a little tractor over here. Uh, fifty twenty. You just don't use her enough. She's gone. That one hurts a little bit. Oh, uh, you were you really about to be hurting it. The ninety four not forty nine fifty five gone. Aww. International. We're keeping her. We are keeping this girl back here. The 6810, because there's no point in replacing this. We are getting rid of the 8110. Oh, that hurts. And we're getting rid of the 8960. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting heart palpitations right now. My chest hurting. <laughs> All right. You see everything in this shed? Everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, like the disc, the planters, the combines. Yeah, everything. Bye-bye. Really? We're getting rid of every bit of it in here. Yeah, we're about to have some money to spend. Are we going into the cattle business, or are we going to keep farming? We definitely going to keep farming, but uh, the only way, in my opinion, the right way is to keep going, is get rid of this little stuff we got right here and upgrade to a little bit bigger, a little bit newer, and better equipment. So, what we're going to do, just so y'all boys know, 
Let's get everything that we're selling put in the main yard right here. And they're supposed to come. They're supposed to be here actually an hour to buy it all and get it all off our hands. And we'll go ahead and take the cash because I'm expecting like three to four hundred K for it. Ooh. So let's get everything put here in the middle, get everything sold, and we'll kind of go to the dealership and buy what we need to buy. All righty. Sounds good. All righty. I think that's about everything. Sad to see it go. Who are you lying to? I'm, I'm happy. I can't lie. I'm, I, I'm smiling chin to chin. I know you are. I know you didn't like them small planners and stuff like that. Trust me, we're not, we're not going that much bigger, okay? Well, that's fine. So, last one to the truck has to pay for the bill for the new machinery. No, no, no. Oh, you guys. I'll just break it. I'll break it. You don't <laughs> want me to break it, do you? You'll break it? <laughs> I'll break it. I'll break it. I don't know about that. I mean... We'll see. All right, boys. So, as y'all, I've let y'all a little bit of time to look around and have all the fun. Everybody gets to go choose one tractor each. One tractor. We get to pick whichever one we want. Whichever one you want. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Ah! Let's talk about this, bud. Let's talk about this. Are you sure we need this thing? Oh, he stopped at that one. Yeah, he stopped at this one. Which one are you going for? I'm going for the Magnum. Oh, man. The 335. See, I'm, I'm torn. Like, I love the 8RTs, like, to death. These are really good tractors to me. But then you have this down here, these 8Rs. Just, like, really good tractors to me. You know what? We'll go with this one. This will be mine. Now we need a new cultivator. We still have a plow, but we need an actual, like, disc cultivator. Okay. Which one do we want? Because you have an option between a Landau's. You have, of course, two Mendecos. My personal favorite, the three-section John Deere or a three-section Sunflower. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that 2660 VT would look pretty nice on my flotation tires over there. I kind of prefer the Mendeco, buddy. You, hey, I don't know if you ever got to use it, but when we had it for that demo, dude, it did wonderful. Did it? Okay, well, then we'll go with that. So, other than the planter just right behind you, we're not getting that one. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Look we, at the tracks. We it's are, got tracks. We are not getting this one. All right. So, you want to make a deal? And what's the deal? I'll let you get that if you take it out of the co-op's budget. Man, this Kenzie's starting to look real <laughs> nice. You, you, guys, you guys think about this. I mean, this is all reliable. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this thing, good condition. Okay, what if I split it 50-50? We buy that one, and then we buy this one. Deal. All right, so we'll buy both of these two. Let's split with the co-op so you don't gotta pay full price for that or at least i don't are we gonna keep using the co-op sprayers yeah we got a pretty good deal set up with that i was about to say well no the co-op i know we gotta buy for the co-op as well because you're talking about you want to buy this for the co-op yeah this is nice so do you want to buy the case patriot for it yep okay well, listen to me okay i think we should buy all three of these back here Okay. I think we should buy all three and okay. just find out which one does the best. And whichever one does the best, we return the other two. We, we sell the other two back next year. Yeah, sure. You know what? New equipment. Let's go. Hey, William. Yeah. It's not our money. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Nate, let, let's buy all three. Let's get them all. Actually, it is partly his money. Else, this is all being paid for by the co-op. So, okay, I'm yeah, leaving. you agreed. He's already <laughs> agreed. Oh, all right, we're going to go inside. We're going to. Let's go. Goodbye. And after a long negotiation between me and the dealership, we decided to pack everything up and take it on back to the house for a total of $800,000 out of my pocket and another $800,000 out of the co-ops. All righty, so right now we are actually loading up our new trailer, or new co-op trailer, with lime because we are hoping to get it out in our fields today and at least get some stuff going. We have all the new equipment here. The first thing we need to do is worry about getting equipment out in the field and getting liming done. Then we need to get the hydras done. There's a lot that needs to get done. Honestly, ASAP because work doesn't stop because we want it to, especially with this being our busiest time of the year. All right, well, that's loaded up. All righty. Can you pull one of the other spreaders out? Yep. All right, William, let's go ahead and head over to one of our, to get over to our fields. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and head in front of you, and then I'll get my wife to come bring me back over here to the co-op to grab the other John Deere. You heard from Driver yet? I have not. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at either. I appreciate it. There's something here pretty soon because we need him to go ahead and start tearing up the, uh, tearing up those little embankments between the fields so we can break them back into fields again. Hey, William. Yeah. We're probably going to throw the disc over this field one more time because I don't think we really want to put those weeds plant over those weeds what do you think uh, i don't think we should honestly we might end up taking this to most of our ground again because i really don't want to plant on these ridges either all righty so 
I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up. We're trying to unload as much as we can. We are unloading them. We're gonna need probably a lot more lime than just what this load gave us. But hey, at least it kept us from having to go and take it from the co-op, like drive all the way back to the co-op, reload, or even worse, dump it on the field and having to slowly pick it up. Like this right here just kept us a little bit more neat and organized at the end of the day. All right, William, let's just go ahead and pack this stuff up. We'll leave the stuff here at the shop for the day. Alrighty. Sadly, didn't get everything I wanted done today, but hey, better than nothing. That's true. All right, so me and William just got done spreading for the day. He's doing his due. I'm going to go ahead and head on into the house, get some good old steak made. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for love and support your show to me, the entire channel here. We will be, in fact, putting down some good old anhydrous in the next episode, so come on back for that. Thank you all so very much for love and support for me, the entire crew here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace!